Guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker, and yes, I don't have a beard today. Um, long story short, it's summertime. I decided to go clean shaven, give my face a little bit of a fresh air, as it were. Um, tonight, we're going to be talking about an article that came out that said young men are choosing video games instead of girls. And I don't, I think this is a cause and effect um, case. In other words, they're saying um, men are choosing other things other than women. And so they're not being as active with women. And I think the truth of it is that a lot of men are not getting the opportunity for dating and they're not having success in dating. And so they're turning to other things uh, to replace that. Uh, the fact of the matter is that, you know, if you even look at someone like myself, whether I'm, uh, whether I'm building on the bus, I have a project. I'm working on something. It keeps me mentally stimulated. I have lots of things going on. I'm, I'm here at uh, my parents' house doing some work on their home. And my father, uh, as I've mentioned before, has Alzheimer's. So I'm trying to get the, the house squared away for them. And my bus will be pretty much done here in the next couple of weeks. I just have a little bit more of the dash area. Then I'll do a video for you guys and I'll be hitting the road um, once everything's settled here. Probably another month or two. Plus uh, that way more people get vaccinated and there's not as many states all locked down and everything else. Um, but I think that what what's happening is guys are saying, you know what, um, I, it's, I'm delayed becoming an adult, meaning that either after college, at least in the past, like my generation, which they call Gen X, or the boomers, as uh, you guys call them, uh, you younger guys call them, um, it used to be you go to college, you'd come out, you'd be able to find a job pretty quickly. And depending on what field of study you're, you've taken now, you know, if you're coming out with an engineering or a STEM degree, you can get a job right away. But if you're taking some of these less like broadcasting or um, one of these psycho psychological studies, you're not able to find a job and you're still in debt. And so you, now you're competing with other people that kind of have the same other degrees and you're not being able to go anywhere. So I think a lot of people, uh, young people are still living at home. I read an article that the average age now of people um, that are still 50% of, of college grads and young people up to the age of 28, 50% of them are still living home. So I think a lot of them are not are not leaving the house. They may not have a car or the money for a car. They may not go up going out and hanging out with friends. And so they're not they're not kind of getting into the uh, the hookup culture, as it were. Um, quick plug, uh, guys, if you haven't joined me yet over on betterbachelor.locals.com, if you um, I have all my videos up over there, and we have the forums. There's about fifteen thousand people over there, and we share stories and memes and news and articles and things like that. And I'm also doing about a video a week that is exclusive to subscribers over there and supporters over there. So if you'd like to go over and support me over there, there's a little content for you. There's podcasts, uh, which are basically these videos just done in audio files. So that way you can download them for about 30 megabytes instead of the one gigabyte video file. That way, if you're digitally challenged. Um, so let me uh, see here. This, uh, that was my pre-edit and this was a meme i actually found on nine gag it says a uh, girl talking to her mother mom i'm gonna go out with a male friend she said be careful boys nowadays only think about one thing and she's like oh the bedroom fun and mom says nope and it, then it says need for speed underground remastered uh or need for speed underground 2 remastered me i'm, I'm not much of a racing uh, guy online but um, this this is a meme and there's a couple others that some say the skyrim at the bottom and others said um Valhalla or something like that. So it, you know, granted, these are kind of maybe your every average everyday guys that are uh, uh, not having much luck in dating and they're posting memes and maybe the meme lords are not necessarily the most successful guys out there in the world as far as dating. But it, it just goes to sh say, show you that, hey, guys are finding other activities other than women and they seem to be doing pretty well with it. So men will adapt to the new kind of the new dating rules out there. I think a lot of guys will just say, nah, find something else to do. So this is from um, this is from the Telegraph, I think it is. Let me see here. Yeah, the Telegraph. Young men are giving up on uh, bedroom fun to play video games, study finds. Researchers use regressive analysis to try to understand why today's youngsters are spurning casual encounters. And this is from 8th of uh, March, so just a couple days ago. But I went and looked at the similar study that they were kind of referring to, which is a little bit older. I think it's uh, coming up on about nine months old. I think this is the effect. I don't think men are saying, I'm not going to go out on a date. 
I'm not going to go find a woman because I'm having so much fun with video games. I think the truth is that they're not having good luck in dating and they say, well, I'll just have a couple of cold drinks and hang out with friends online or go to a, a forum or watch a movie or play video games or whatever. They say young men are giving up the bedroom fun to play video games. A study has found the U.S.-based research found that computer games, gaming by men in their early 20s, explained a quarter of the decline in the propensity to have the bedroom fun. The size of the decline was on par with the current young generation's growing distaste for drinking as an explanation as to why the casual hookup is becoming less common among people in their 20s, according to the study of 2,000 young men and women aged 20 to 24. The researchers from the State University of New York and Rutgers University use regressive analysis to try to understand why today's youngsters are spurning casual bedroom fun. According to studies, the proportion uh, who say they have not had a, a, rom a not, let me try that again. Those who say they have not had a non-romantic uh, bedroom encounter in the, in the past year has risen from 11.7 to 15% as a whole. And then for men aged 18 to 24, it rose from 20 to 30%. For women, the biggest factor explaining the decline in their casual uh, bedroom lives was drinking, which accounted for a quarter of the drop. So women have decided, I guess, to drink instead, and men have decided to go play video games I, I, instead, I guess. According to the researchers, no other factor stood out or was statistically significant. For the men, however, the key aspects of their lives, which appeared to be having an effect, the largest was drinking, followed by gaming. So I guess instead of uh, like when I was a youth, um, I would pile into the car, go out, hang out with some friends, maybe go to a, a pub or a club. And even though I wasn't old enough to legally partake in the club, we would go out maybe to a house party or something afterwards, have a couple of cold ones, hang out with some girls, and maybe some fun ensued in the backseat of a car. Apparently, that's not a thing anymore. They say for the men, however, the key aspects of their lives, I already read that, 10% uh, was accounted for by the fact that they were still living with their parents, right? A lot of young people, I think, are not having success in the job world or they're getting into debt, going to college, getting a degree that does not necessarily give them uh, a quick in for a job and they're stuck at home. And the minute they start working anywhere, they may have to pay back their college loans. So I think a lot of them are not working at all until they get the job that they're really wanting. They said researchers, however, found there was no evidence that trends in young adults, economic circumstances, internet use, or television watching explain the recent decline in the casual bedroom fun. The reasons for the decline has been exercising academics. And uh, let's see. Uh, young people also remaining dependent on their families, both financially in terms of living at home might be a factor. I don't know. When I was young living at home, I still went out and I still had my dates and I still had my fun. That didn't stop me. I think it's the fact that, you know, when I was a young guy, yeah, a buddy of mine might have his dad's magazine, um, either a Hustler magazine or a Wii magazine or something like that. And we might all ask to borrow a few pages out of it to take it home. Or, of course, you have the old VHS tapes that was a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy where someone had gone to a video store, rented one and had a double deck VCR and they'd record a few copies for their friends. That was the only spicy entertainment you could watch when I was a kid. Now you can just go www.boobie.com and everything's there that you could ever want. So, um, and that's pretty much all they said in this one. But here's the other study that I looked up and this is from Healthline. It's a little bit older, but it has the same age range. And I think this was actually a subsample of a larger group. And this says why young adults, especially men, are having less bedroom fun less frequently. They say a new study indicates that men and women between the 18 and 24 are sleeping with each other less often. They say delayed, delayed adulthood may be one factor. They added the amount of material on the internet to watch may be also affecting personal face-to-face -face relationships. The experts say a lack of the bedroom fun can affect a person's overall well-being. Um, maybe, but I would say healthy, healthy one-on-one -on -one interactions. If you're just going out there and, and being a rake, and if you look up rake on the internet, I'm changing. I'm, I'm, I'm now officially marking this term. Instead of the H-O-E word uh, a rake is a a here let me look it up let me let me bring up the definition so i can i looked this up the other day and this is why i'm going to um this is why i'm going to start using rake i'm bringing rake as my as my new derogatory term uh go away it says right here it is uh as a noun a dissolute person 
So a dissolute person, okay? And if we look up dissolute, it says lacking moral restraint, indulging in sensual pleasures or vices, loose, relaxed, enfeebled. So rake actually means the same thing as in the other garden tool. So now I'm going to use it. So whenever I say rake, you also know I'm referring to other garden tools. And now you, now you know, and knowing is half the battle. Okay, so going back to the article, um, they say that... Um, I, 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 what I was saying, let me get, what I was saying is that, uh, that if you're acting like a rake and you're being easy and you're being of low virtue, um, that can, I don't think that is going to do a lot of good for the effect of someone's overall well being. I think that's actually a negative, um, if you're doing it with a bad mindset. Now, if you're a happy person and you're just kind of going out and you're enjoying dating and it's coming from a good place and you're happy and, and you're doing it for fun, that's different than needing validation. You're in a dark place. I'm not saying either one's right, but there can be negative and positive to the aspects. Anyway, they say people are having less bedroom fun and the decline is being seen among younger adults, particularly men. About one in three men ages 18 to 24 report reported no bedroom activity in the past year. One in three. That's the bottom 33% are not having any fun. The top 66 apparently are at least with a girlfriend or more. Uh, they say between 2000 and 2002 and 2016 to 2018, the past year's uh, inactivity rose from almost 19% to 31% among men ages 18 to 24. And they say uh, activity or inactivity among women of the same age remained relatively constant rising from 15 to 19% over the same period. So women went from 15% not having fun to 19% not having any bedroom fun, an increase of 4%. Men went from 19 to 31%. That's a, an increase of 12% or three times more for men. I think what is happening is that A, those women are still going out, but more than likely maybe, I mean, they must be sharing some men because the percentage of them is lower. So some of them, some of the guys that they're dating must be double dipping. Um, and that uh, more men are are not part are not participating in the dating. And that could be either, again, they're not given the opportunity, the girls are chasing after the other guys, or they may just be saying, you know what? It costs money. I don't have a job. I'm still at my parents' house. I don't have a place I can take her. It's my dad's car that I have to borrow. Um, and I'm not exactly comfortable, you know, having a little bit of fun in the back seat. Um, or they may just be saying, you know what? I'd rather have a cold one. I'd rather have a cold one online with some friends. We'll play an MMO. I'll watch, I'll do a little, uh, yank and spank. I'll watch a movie and then I'll just move on with my life. I think that's actually probably what's happening. Uh, they say the study also found that activity declined significantly among men and women ages 25 to 34 which is 7% versus 14% among men, 7% versus 12% among women. So it is declining even for the next bracket up, but um, it's still declining just a little bit more for men. But it seems much more even footing in the older demographic, but it did still slide off a little bit. And the bedroom activity did not decline among adults ages 35 to 44. That may be because A, they're, they're in longer term relationships, B, they're not dating at all, um, and this says casual, non-committed though. So, or at least the other study was, this one doesn't, doesn't state that. Um, this just talks about all bedroom behavior. So maybe the older ones, more of them are married and more of them, um, are maybe getting in longer term relationships. They're not quite part of the hookup culture. Uh, fewer adults also reported having the bedroom fun weekly or more frequently. Unmarried, low-income, and unemployed or part-time employed men were more likely to have had no bedroom fun within the past year than those who were married, had higher income, or had jobs. Now, this is not a surprise. Why? Because unmarried, uh, excuse me, low-income, unemployed, or part-time men have the lowest amount of resources, don't have the nicest vehicles, probably do not have the nicest of apartments or homes, and so they are basically invisible to women because they're not bringing enough to the table. Uh, guys that have higher incomes, have better jobs, they seem to be doing pretty well. This is not a surprise. Statistically, we've talked about that before. He says, it seems like in the US and elsewhere, it might be harder for a proportion of the population to establish themselves in society, the labor market, and perhaps also in the dating world. The study also found that even among people who are having the bedroom fund frequency, frequency has also declined. So those that are even getting it are getting it less often. They must be married. 
When the mean uh, frequency among those who were active may reflect their priorities and preferences, the inactivity may reflect an absence of a bedroom intimate relationship with substantially, di substantially different implications for individuals in society. The findings were drawn from the responses of 4,291 men and 5,213 women who took part in the U.S. General Social Survey between 2000 and 2018. So this study is a different subset of people than the other study. But I don't think that men are maybe now maybe men are saying, you know what? I mean, I may be one of these. I think I mean, I've had pretty good success when it comes to dating. And I'm just kind of like, you know what? I've got other things to do. Um, I don't want the headache. I don't want to be I, I don't want to be bothered on the dating apps because uh, those are trash. And to actually meet somebody that means you have to leave your home and go out and put an effort. Try to talk to people at a grocery store or a bookstore or whatever else. And for a lot of people, they're just not into that or going to the pub. Uh, for a lot of people that come, that's money, that's effort. I got to dress up. I got to go out. I don't think I'll have any luck anyway. Eh, forget it. I'll find something else to do. Again, a, a, a yank and a nap, play some video games, have a cold beer, call it a day. Women may be doing the same thing. Maybe women are just getting their toys and calling it a day as well. Um, but it, it does go to show that even the casual hookup culture, just I think there's a rift forming between men and women. And in a lot of cases, um, I, I don't think there's any mending across that. I think a lot of young men are angry, frustrated, or have just said, you know what, I like, I'm like i selfish with my time. I, I, I just as much like to hang out with my mates on on social media or excuse me on uh playing video games or like uh on a forum or something like that and i think women love them some social media um uh, maybe they're also partaking in the in the drinky drink and hanging out with friends it's hard to say but i can say this that that with these statistics you know if you're not hooking up if you're not having the fun if you're not having any luck in dating again this is a general trend that's happening all across the board it's not just with the lowest subset of men although they are the most affected. All right, let us move on now to the dating profiles of the day. This one is short and sweet. Uh, this young lady is an accountant, and she's 25 years old. She's into trivia, politics, hiking, and travel, and she says, looking for someone to buy me food and walk my dog during busy season. That's it. Now... She's not looking for a dog walking person because that she would pay for those services. She's not looking for a date where maybe you'd take her out and uh, have food with her. She's specifically looking for someone to swing by, buy her food, maybe drop it off. So apparently your Uber Eats now or a delivery service. Walk her dog while she's busy. This is a dating profile. And they wonder why men are playing video games or finding other activities. And, and not going on dates anymore. And this one. <laughs> For those of you that can't see, this is a young lady that looks like she's in a top or a sweater and she's bent over in a G-string. And, and the picture is a picture of herself in the mirror of her tail side, the backside. And it's she says she's 26. She does some sort of job in operation. She went to university and she says, seriously, where are all the nice genuine guys at? Well, first of all, you ent ended your sentence in a preposition. You should never do that. But yet you went to university. I didn't go to university, and even I know that. And uh, yeah, apparently the best way to get the nice, genuine guys is to not show your face at all and take a picture of... Take your picture from a p particular angle that a man might enjoy you in on a Friday night after a date. I... <laughs> Now, if this said, I'm here for a hookup and, like, uh, must be cute, tall, athletic, you know, rich, millionaire, whatever, I'm just here for a hookup, you get a pass. I wouldn't even call that a bad dating profile. But when you're, when you're, you know, when you're giving the old brown eye wink in the mirror and you're asking where all the nice, genuine guys are, genuine nice guys are not going to date you. They'll still swipe because they'll say, oh, she's, she looks good from that angle. I'd like to see her that way in front of me. Yes, guys will still swipe on that, but they're not going to be the genuine nice guys. They're going to be the guys that are perfectly happy to hit it and quit it. Guys, I want to keep this one a little short for you today. I know I've done a few that are longer, and some of you complain because you're like, oh, just get to the point. All right, today I got to the point. Other times, I'm going to wax poetically and talk a little deeper because some of you like longer content. And you can always flip it to two times speed. You'll still get the message. Guys, that's it for me. This is Better Bachelor. I'm Joker. And remember, whether guys are choosing to skip dating 
to play video games and to watch uh, spicy movies online and take care of all their needs that way and save their money. Whether guys are, are just not able to because uh, they don't have money or jobs because you know they thought uh, going to college and, and getting in debt was going to be the right way. Whether they're trying to and are not having any luck, uh, either way, um, it seems that both both partners or both men and women aren't having as much fun as they'd like to, but it's the 18 to 24 men that are paying the most penalties. And deep down, I suggest, I, I think that the, the, the women in that age range are probably dating somebody that's older and established and that has money and has a car and has a house versus trying to date someone their own age that maybe doesn't have any income, uh, at least so far, according to the st statistics, it kind of seems that way. Mm -hmm.